Hi, and welcome to another Innistrad block draft. This is Jake with Seems Good Magic. Uh, here is our opening pack. Scorned Villager, Tragic Slip, Increasing Savagery, which I think is a, actually a pretty bomb card. Um, Dawn Treader Elk, and some other cards. Uh, probably the colors we can expect to go into out of passing what we're going to pass, because I think I'm going to take the increasing savagery. Unfortunately, both of these are high green picks. Uh, so it... I mean, it could be better to let this go. But, of everything else in this pack, I just don't see anything else, you know, that's really a first pick. Uh, and... If we are able to go into blue, which I think I'm just going to try and push at this point, um... There's a Briar Pack Alpha. Another tragic slip. Uh, well, as I was saying, if we can go into blue, there's a chance we get Invisible Stalker in the next pack. Um, there's a Griptide here and a Headless Scab. Kassig Recluse. And tragic slip as well. Uh, the Briar Pack Alpha is just a really strong trick, so I'm going to pick that up. Um, Kessig Recluse obviously is. I mean, it's beyond just worth mentioning. It's just a really solid card. Uh, if we can go into white, Inquisitor is really good with increasing savagery on it. Um, Stormbound Geist is okay, but I think the Inquisitor is better. It's just it's that much better with uh, pump effects, etc. We're definitely still pushing green here. Another four drop or one drop. I'll take the recluse. We are definitely, I mean, we're just all four drops at this point. We'll take the dryad. Any sort of pseudo evasion we can pick up is going to be great. Uh, fling's good. I think I want the Midnight Guard. I think we can probably... Well, it might not be as possible as I hoped. Well, I'm going to take the Relentless Scabs here. This is a really amazing card. And still leads us into blue, potentially. Uh, I'm not totally sold on... I mean, these two white cards that I have aren't enough to just make me go into white without really thinking about it. And we've been seeing a lot of Shriek, shriek Geist going, so maybe we can pick those up um, instead. Green is going to be probably just a really tight pick out of this pack. And I wasn't able to cut any really anything that would stop somebody from going green. I mean, out of that last pack, we, we passed Wild Hunger. And out of uh, the first pack, it was Scorn Villager and Daybreak, uh, or... Yeah, Dawn Treader Elk, as you can see here. This isn't our first pack, but... Vengeful Vampire gets a bad rap. It's not terrible, but it's definitely not my pick. Hopefully we can pick up some, you know, Headless Scab. I'm happy with this here. Well, getting a Scorn Villager would have been really nice, but... Um, you know, such is life. Okay, so here we have the awkward decision of choosing between a creature, a removal spell, or another removal spell. Um, Griptide's good for tempo. Uh, this is just a really tough pack for us. I'm going to take the Griptide. I think it could be better for us. And Headless Scab is... It's maybe just a little too early without the Screeching Scabs to complement it. Um, I'm not a huge fan of Counter Lash. I'll take the Executioner's Hood because there's a chance that this comes in out of sideboard and actually means something to my deck. Um, Chalice, sure, why not? This card can actually save you. Uh, no humans yet. Not even good with 
any human I know. That's not happening. I'll take the Maddock on the off chance that I need a 3-drop that's terrible. Out of this pack, I think I want the Mystics. I know I'm really hurting for four drops here, but this is just going to be a really solid card. Alright, uh, we can pick up another four drop, or we can pick up this card. I think it's the Orchard Spirit, because that at least has evasion, and we we need some evasive creatures here. Alright, Sturmgeist, Assistant. This pack is just full of all sorts of good for us. Um, unfortunately, there's just so much good stuff. I'm going to take the Sturmgeist and hope that we pick up some more mana production. Dark Thicket, Wolf, Orchard Spirit, and Gnaw to the Bone. Those are all cards that we still are okay with getting, too. Um, yeah, you're not getting played. I really need to clean up this early game here. I need ones and three or twos and three drops. I wouldn't mind one drops too. Um right now I just have two spells, so delvers aren't amazing cards for me. Um deranged assistant, however, is really, really good. Since I'm at four drop is where I really start to pick up the gas. Or pick up speed, I mean. So anything that gets me one turn earlier is good. I don't see that we have anything. Well, Relentless Scabs obviously works well with Deranged Assistant um, as well. So I think that's okay. Deranged Assistant is probably a pretty high pick for us right now. Um, let's see. Back from the brink. Sensory Deprivation, Ranger's Guile. Um, back from the brink. Let's think about this. Um, I don't see anything that's, like, terribly exciting except for maybe Sturmgeist, but even that, like, if you back from the brink, it isn't great. So, I think I'm going to take the Sensory Deprivation. Uh take travel prep and hope we can splash for it. There was a curiosity in that pack and a grave bramble I think, but uh, neither one of those is too amazing or anything I really care that strongly about. Could do spectral flight here. I think that's the pick. Frightful Delusions would have been an okay pick, actually, especially if we don't pick up more three drops. It might actually make the main deck. Um, Spectral Fr Flight, though, is really good. Um, I wish we had a few more creatures, so we definitely need to pick up some creatures here. We've got a lot of support, but not a lot of actual gas. Okay, Armored Scab. Maybe we pick up another Mauler or two. Or even a Stitch Drake would be really nice. Um, sensory Deprivation might not make the deck. Totally depends. I think I'll probably just cut it now. And Spectral Flight might not make the deck either. Uh, I don't have any humans to take advantage of that. Um, I might need some creatures to just throw out there. And I haven't seen any zombies coming around, so maybe Grave Bramble is main deckable here. I really wish I had seen an Invisible Stalker. Okay. Um, I'll take the Spare from Evil. 
since I'm very low human count. Alright, well this deck could be playable with just a few more uh, support cards to it. Alright, well we got Wreath and Deranged Assistant. I think I want the Deranged Assistant more here. Um, than Wreath, yeah. If I'm trying to pick up more Scab, so like I want Makeshift Mauler and Stitch Drake and I want that Deranged Assistant to work. Um, Sure, why not? Alright. Well, hopefully we open a Garrick in our third pack and then we can be totally set. Um, take that. Actually, even something like just a big scab would be good. Scab Goliath would be really nice for us now that we have double deranged assistant and an armored scab. We don't have exactly enough creatures to really go all in yet, but hopefully we can pick a lot up this time. Counterpart, which is okay. I'm trying to think of anything I have that's like really good with it though. There's Mystics, Alpha, Surprise Extra Recluse would be nice. Um, and surprise relentless scabs. Those are about all I've got. I think I'll let somebody else deal with that and I'll take the ambush viper. Alright, well we got another Hamlet captain here. Grizzled Outcast. Or another ambush viper. Um I'll probably end up taking the Grizzled Outcast here. Let me see here. I some of these. I just want to make sure like where my curve actually lies. And we'll hide land. Alright. So there wasn't really anything extra that got added here. Well, Dark Thicket Wolf is particularly good with, um, you know, some travel prep, spectral flight, some of these other cards I picked up, more so than Grizzled Outcast. But Grizzled Outcast definitely puts the game away. I think here I'm going to take the Wolf, and it'll get the nod over the Dryad. And we definitely want Prey Upon here. It has enough good creatures that can take advantage of it. Another travel preparation. Well, there's no creatures for us, so I think we can pick that up and be okay with it. Alright, well, more no creatures. We'll take a gnaw to the bone here. Ooh. Two foils. Foil Delver, Foil Wreath. Okay, for Delver I have one, two, three, four. Let's cut that. Let's cut that. I think I can actually justify picking Delver up. Um, Lantern Spirit. Kinder Catch. Or Lost in the Mist. I'm going to take the Kinder Catch. Uh, the top end is actually really important in this deck, I think. Um, I'll take the One-Eyed Scarecrow. Okay, I'll pick up the latest Hamlet Captain in the world. And likewise with the... Uh, Hmm. I'll take the Viper since it's better with Prey Upon. Uh, pick up the 
the orchard spirit here. And why not? We'll take a crab. Take cobbled wings. Okay, so I don't think one eyed scarecrow makes the main deck. I don't think Hamlet Captain makes the deck. Um and there's a chance Fortress Crab doesn't make the deck either. Those three would be the first I'd cut. Um not sure that I have like tons of spells to take advantage of the let's just pull them out. No. I don't know that Gnaw to the Bone is necessarily a main deck card either. That Divination and Griptide. So, I have five cards. I don't think Delver is necessary then. Play these guys. Armored Scab, Fortress Crab, Relentless, and Sturmgeist. Um, Armored Scab actually isn't even... Well, no, I don't feel like it is necessary. I don't need to mill myself a ton. I'll put all of these two drops in, these three drops. That can get played. And of these, I think... Um. Hmm. Well, I'm going to do Spectral Flight, I think. Anything to, like, up my attack, I think is good. Um. I really think that the Cobbled Wings and Executioner's Hood out of the sideboard are really good, but... Um, Spectral Flight is just, it's really powerful. Nah, I actually, on second thought, I don't think I can justify it. It's not as strong as I want it to be, I think. I think I'm giving it a little too much credit. But we could definitely play One-Eyed Scarecrow or... Well, let's just look at our curve. Alright, so I think One-Eyed Scarecrow is the one that gets the nod here. Okay. Alright, well, we'll see what we can do with this, and I'll see you in the first round.